hey you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i did these really cute pink french tip sets my client bought in this inspiration photo and the only thing that we changed was the symbol the zodiac symbol on the ring finger from a gemini to a cancer symbol i'm going to start off by removing the shine from her natural nails on the lowest speed setting that my nail drill will go and with a fine grit sanding band Now I'm going to be applying the Not Polish Triple XLC Curve Nail Tips with KDS Nail Glue. Ever since I started using these nail tips and learned how to use them, I have not gone back to my McCart ones that I used to use. These ones are just so much longer and since they're so square already, it makes shaping 10 times quicker for me. I also have not had to double tip anything since I got these nail tips. Today, I had a client who got a short full set and I used the McCart nail tips because I don't like using the triple XL nail tips for short nails because it's just cutting off so much nail. Um, but I was using those and I was just like, wow, these are so short. Like, I can't believe that I was using these for the longest time and double tipping them. So anybody who was getting those nail tips and we're double tipping them. Consider trying out these C-curve nail tips. It might be a little tricky at first, but I promise if you practice, you will get it. Now I'm blending the nail tips with her natural nails. And then after this, I'm gonna go in with my nail clippers to cut the sides of the C-curve nail tips to make them more straight. If you're wondering what grit file I'm using, it is an 8080 and I get these from my local nail supply store. I used to use the Panda ones, but I believe that the reason I stopped using those was because I was getting sent the wrong ones in the mail. So I just went back to start getting them from my nail supply and I like to buy these in a bunch of packs so I'm stocked up so I don't have to make nail trips to 
the nail supply store often. This is the final shape, you guys. I highly recommend trying out the nail tips. You won't regret it. Next, I'm going to be going in with me a Secrets Dehydrator in Not Polishes Triple X Bond to prep her natural nails for acrylic application. I'm going to be using Peaky Nude from the M Collection from Not Polished today. If you guys didn't know, the M Collection, you can actually get the matching polish and gel polish duo to match the acrylic powder. So if you have clients or if you do your own nails, you can get the acrylic powder and actually get the matching color for it in um, polish and gel.
this is what the application looks like next i'm going to reshape them the nail tips on top of having a really clean application makes me not have to do a lot of work for this part i really just clean up the edges real quick and then go in with my e-file i have a surprise i filmed my e-filing process for you guys today i did speed it up just for the sake of the video i didn't want it to be too long it's already almost 40 minutes but i was able to get really good footage of me doing that process for you guys which i rarely show so i'm really excited that you're gonna get to see it in today's video I'm using a fine grit barrel bit from McCart. I got a pack of new bits from McCart. If you are interested in trying these bits and trying it out for yourself, I will leave my affiliate link and coupon code from McCart down in the description box for you guys.
I'm using Batty and White Lies from the Not Polished Gel Liner Collection and I mix those two together to make this really pretty pink color. That's my favorite thing about the gel liners for Not Polished is that you can mix them together to make so many different other shades that you need. To do my French tips with gel polish, I'm going to be using a Not Polished Gel Liner Brush or not just a specific gel liner brush but a liner brush which i will have a link down below and if you want to see what those all look like i actually have a reel on my instagram page of me opening them brand new so you can see if you'd like but i'm going to be drawing two lines on the nail like i'm doing v-cut french tips first and then i'm going to draw another line and see if she's comfortable with where the smile line will end at which she wasn't so we did it a little bit shorter and then after I did that, I connected the, that line with the two sides of the V lines that I did. After I do that, then I, of course, fill in the rest of the nail and then cure it for 60 seconds. I used the not polish gel paint and I used the black one for the smiley face that I did and then I cured for 60 seconds. The difference in the gel um, liners versus the gel paint is the consistency. The gel paints have a more sticky and thicker consistency than the gel liners do. The gel liners are more loose and so those ones are great for mixing up different colors. Um, I'm not sure why I decided to use the gel paint for this because I could have used the gel liner, but I don't know. I have both of those linked in the description box for you guys to try out. The ring finger and the thumb, I used the liner gel baddie on its own. This is what the color looks like on its own, if you guys were wondering. And then I cured for 60 seconds before I did the design on them.
we decided to do glossy for these nails and i'm using the not polished glossy top coat which is also linked down below for you guys if you don't have gel polish or gel liners to create this look you can definitely still do it with acrylic just use white acrylic on the pinky a dark pink acrylic on the ring and the thumb white on the middle finger and a different shade of pink on the pointer and then add the drawings in the end and you can do the same exact thing with acrylic i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me do french tips another way because i normally do do them with acrylic and doing them with gel liners or gel polish is different for me but i definitely am excited to get more into gel art um i've been looking i already told you guys i've been looking at this one gel polish collection in particular because i don't know i just am a lot more interested in gel art at the moment um not like a lot more interested more than acrylic i'm just interested in dipping into it more so let me know if you guys like the tutorial on french tips with the gel polish Lastly, I'm applying cuticle oil and we are all finished. I did the same exact thing on the other hand, so I didn't record that side for you guys. But this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.